Sunday silence. The underdog in the Derby and the Preakness, the winner on both occasions. Then as the favorite, it was Easy Go or the underdog who won the Belmont. It'll be quite a duel. They had a terrific rivalry. They ran, the, they ran against each other four times and Sunday won three of them. Standing in love. They're off. Sunday silence breaks alertly. Easy goer was off a step slow toward the inside. Sunday didn't break all that great. He kind of stumbled a little bit and hit the side of the gate coming out of there. He recovered very easily and he secured a really good position going by the stands the first time. Sunday silence is grading in fourth position. He's six lengths off the lead. Four lengths back to easy goer. I was in the clear all the way. I never had to worry about, uh, you know, getting in any traffic or anything. Sunday silence poised on the outside third. Present value to his inside. Easy goer is five lengths behind Sunday silence and now he's beginning to roll. Easy goer got right to my hip. I looked under my right elbow and I saw two chestnut legs and I said, uh oh, he's here already. <laughs> Sunday silence bracing for the oncoming power of Easy Goer, who's right at his neck and the stage is set with three furlongs to run in the Breeders' Cup Classic. His acceleration around the turns was what made him such a fantastic racehorse because I had a good hold of him up until that point and I just let out a notch. Uh, he went from, you know, a length in front going into the turn to about uh, four lengths coming out of the turn. He went by Blushing John about the eighth pole, and he started waiting just a little bit. I put the stick in my left hand, and I showed it to him, but I, I never did hit him. And he was able to hold off the oncoming power of Easy Goer. <laughs> coming to the final furlong, Sunday Silence surges to the front. Blushing John trying to bite back. Easy Goer with one. And Sunday Silence holds on in a racing epic. It was especially rewarding for me because my mom and dad had flown down from Boston. My wife and all the girls were there, and we went to Disney World the next day. <laughs> so we had a we had a fantastic weekend. <laughs>